use some potatoes. We are at church. Okay, y'all, now I'm mashing my potatoes. I've seen this recipe where they left the skins on, and it kind of reminded me of the potatoes at Applebee's, so I left the skins on. But before I use my blender on my potatoes, I always smash them down a little bit, break it down a little bit, or you're going to be wearing potatoes if you don't do this. Don't judge me, but this whole thing is going in there. lot of it but still it's getting in there and some milk these will stay in this crock pot until we get home from church and these are all warm now I put my chicken on low not high down below and um, so we're just gonna get to it okay I have one and three quarter cup of all-purpose flour I have three quarters of a cup of sugar granulated I have one tablespoon of baking powder and I just put one teaspoon of kosher salt and I'm going to mix this up I'm gonna mix all my dry ingredients up before I put in the wet ingredients Okay, now for my wet ingredients, I have two eggs, I have one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one cup of milk, and I'm just going to whisk all of these together. Mixture because it makes it much easier to add it in when 
when I put all this in the dry, it's not as lumpy, so I just kind of, kind of punch it a little bit, and then whisk it a little bit, so it gets a little bit kind of creamy, and loosens up a little bit. And now I am going to pour my wet ingredients into my dry ingredients, just like that, and I'm going to whisk it all together. Bit of chocolate chips into mine. Okay, now I have my pan ready and I am going to spray it. I've lined it with parchment paper, um, but I'm going to spray it with baking spray. I'm going to have to do this with both my hands. I'll be right back. And it's all ready to go into the oven. delicious y'all and here is the peanut butter chocolate chip bread it's delicious y'all